Are you ready? I'm ready. Quite ready. It's the Dr. Torper Halloween Special. Let's begin with the history of Halloween. Why, why, the end, into the garbage can, aloha! Oy. You know what? He's right. It gets kind of complicated. Let's suffice it to say that some people think Halloween is from Satan. <laughs> but for me, it's a time for bats. Enraged, aren't you? Fine. I'm enraged also. Lugosi never forgave himself for turning down Frankenstein. Another Halloween favorite is the spider web. That spider must have been a marketing consultant. He gave that scientist great web presence. Let's hear from our guests. What do you think about stores putting up Christmas decorations before Halloween is even over? They're all messed up. Just wanted to crush them. People love the traditional Halloween custom of trick-or-treating. And it's a great time for pranks, like hiding someone's shoe. Hey, remember the leash law, and for grown-ups, there are parties. You know how to do the funky chicken? No, but they can do the loaded diaper dance. So does this mean you've learned the true meaning of Halloween? No. No! Halloween is about a place we are all going someday. I want to talk on you about the future. The grave. And not a fine kettlefin fish. What I mean is, Halloween reminds us of our mortality. Our lives are a small and brief spark in a sea of infinity extending outward in all directions. Remembering this gives us perspective so we recognize what matters in life such as caring for those who are important to us and helping others along life's path. Anyone seeking to destroy our happiness is a menace. A menace would have to be done away with. Well, he sort of got the idea. <laughs> Dr. Torper saying, If you have a hollow heart, at least let Halloween save your spleen. And stay in contact with the infinite.